March 25th, 2024. Today is day 304 on the road. And as you can see, it's snowing here in lovely Colorado. This is our first day in Colorado. We're here at Verde Mesa RV Resort. The kids are building the snowman. We're getting ready and we're gonna head down the street half a mile to the National Park, Mesa Verde National Park. And check out my new boots. See that right there? I got these from Walmart, 30 bucks. Ozark hiking boots. What a great deal. What we're gonna do is you say, Dad, Dad fell in the snow. Mom, Dad fell in the snow. Yeah. What? Right there. <gasps> you got pranked. We got a nice long drive ahead of us. Two minute, one mile. Check it out guys, we made it to our 27th National Park. We made it to Mesa Verde National Park. Dude, this place is beautiful with all this stuff. Look at that. Park is closed. Do not enter. So it says here, hours of operation. The park is always open, except under emergency conditions. Sites, picnic areas, and most trails are open 8 a.m. sunset, 8 a.m. to sunset. Check the park's Facebook page for the most current information and closures. Mesa Verde National Park Facebook page. The main park road is slated to open at 11 and the museum slash visitor center at 12. Please note that the road is extremely icy and Colorado traction law will be in effect. You know, before you could go and see the dwelling, you need to drive 45 minutes from the park. Entrance to your first view of cliff dwelling. <laughs> and that's why we're at Speedway gassing up. Visitor and Recreation or Research Center. Welcome to Mesa Verde National Park. Mesa Verde National Park was established by President Theodore Roosevelt on June 29, 1906. This is the only national park in the United States created to preserve ancestral Pueblo culture and the prehistoric architecture. The park preserves an extraordinary record of these Pueblo people who made Mesa Verde their home for over 750 years. This is a replica of a balcony house ladder. So here's our options. Going with that one. We just got our map from the visitor center. The ranger recommended us driving down the 45 minute road until you get to all the dwellings, which is this road right here. And right when you get to this all way stop, that's where you see a bunch of dwellings. 45 minutes, let's drive. Military free. I just pulled over where the Moorfield campground is. Right here, they got a gas station, they got showers, restroom, coin laundry, a general store. Too bad it's out of season. This is a winter wonderland on March. Park film footprints of our ancestors every half an hour. Those arrowheads, they put that on the arrow. Look at those bowls. Look at the plate, the shower bowl, the bowl. See down there? That's the spruce tree house. And that's the best preserved cliff dwelling. Now it's time to go to Cliff Palace Loop where we're going to see Cliff Palace. And also the balcony house. The balcony house is actually the most popular one. That's one you actually have to hike on a trail that's 1.2 miles and then look into the mountain and that's where you see the Pueblo dwellings. It's about 30 rooms with like two kivas and right when I was there, I was doing video and my camera died. Look at it right there, I just got done with my hike. Just got done with my hike and it starts hailing. I'll close out the vlog now, peace.